I say like the pair of us, I don't think anyone works as hard as us. Um, we've had a great camp, she's in great nick. I watched her on the pads this week and it's the best I've ever seen her, so I'm really looking forward to, to watching her on Saturday night. Like I'm quite big on the eye-catching shots anyway. I've got a nice straight backhand down the pipe that will catch a few people's eyes if it lands. Um, but it's like you said, you've got to stay in the pocket and you've just got to make sure you're in range all the time. But with that little adjustment of missing their shots as well and coming back with your own, um, so that's what I've been working on in the gym, so hopefully that shows on Saturday night. Do you know what, everyone speaks about her power, um, and yeah, for, for her weight category as well, she does hit very hard, but I know um, her boxing ability is just as good. Um, she got, she have got fast stance, she's got fast feet, good head movement, like she said, she's been working on hand defences, slipping shots and stuff like that, and um, I'm sure you'll see that on, on Saturday night. Uh, my mate? My girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> your, your mate? Your girlfriend? I don't know. Future wifey, yeah. Future wifey? Girlfriend, girlfriend, best friend, whatever, yeah. Girlfriend, best friend? Yeah, um. You can smell it, you can smell the uh, vinegar and stuff, can't you? Right, let's have you two. McDonald's, Louise, she like, smells like a fish shop. <laughs> she says she can smell salt and vinegar everywhere we go. No, but you, I can smell it. Yeah, yeah. I can smell it. But anyway, we are here, October Red Boxing, here at an event in Coventry. What's it? What is it actually called? Sky Dome is where we're fighting, but I don't know where we're Yeah, are this now. is like a festival park. And I'm here with Olympians, Lauren and Karis. Done it, bingo. <laughs> Welcome and thank you so much for being guests. Women in boxing, as am I, but in the, back, in the background. Thank you very much for coming on the channel. It's an absolute pleasure and um, yeah, excited to be here and I can't wait to obviously to watch Karis on Saturday for a performance. What is it like? Because obviously it was your turn a couple of weeks ago and now you're going to be here seeing Karis. I know, easy work for her now. She's seen it all, haven't she? But um, no, nah, obviously like we train alongside each other in the gym. I know how Archie worked and uh, she, well, I say like the pair of us, I don't think anyone works as hard as us. Um, we've had a great camp, she's in great nick. I watched her on the pads this week and it's the best I've ever seen her, so I'm really looking forward to, to watching her on Saturday night. Like I said, I've done, I've done my job now, so it's down to her and I'm 100% confident she'll go and put on a top four months. That transition then from the Olympics to professional, how have you found it? Because obviously you've done it now. How are you finding like the preparation, the change, maybe even the style of training? Because you guys have come through where Rob uh, from GB can actually now follow you through all the way through your professional career. What has that been like? So it's the same sport, but it's a different game in it. Like speaking on behalf of both of us, actually in the amateurs, we were very good on our feet, in and out, moving around the ring. Whereas now, it's just a few little transitions. We need to make a few adaptations. Like, I've been working on my hand defences a bit more, a bit more slips and slides with my head, staying in the pocket a bit more and try to let combinations off. And I believe that's just the same for you, really, as well, isn't it? So it's just the, the little adjustments we need to make to look better in that ring. And looking better in that ring, because obviously, like you said, it's the pro game. Yes, we know the in and out, but now it's almost about not using those straight lines finding those angles and like you said making it real like fan friendly eye catching yeah i believe i'm um i'm quite big on the eye catching shots anyway i've got a nice straight backhand down the pipe that will catch a few people's eyes if it lands and um, but it's like you said you've got to stay in the pocket and you've just got to make sure you're in range all the time but with that little adjustment of missing their shots as well and coming back with your own and um, so that's what i've been working on in the gym so hopefully that shows on saturday night and watching lauren then prepare for hers obviously she stepped through first climb through the professional ropes first what was it like for you to watch your mate go through that and obviously from the amateurs and then it's like literally following her through what was that like my mate my girlfriend yeah <laughs> your, your mate your girlfriend i don't know future wifey yeah uh, future wifey girlfriend girlfriend best friend whatever yeah girlfriend best friend yeah um now, watching her, obviously, the first time, I see what she does in the gym, so I, I can see what she's working on in the gym. Her first performance as a professional was really good, um, but I know there's more still to come of her because I see what she's working on in the gym, like sinking the shots in. She didn't show everything that she'd been working on in the gym, but nonetheless, it was an incredible performance. She's got blister in hand speed, very fast. I just uh, want to see them bigger shots from her a bit more so you can all see that she's, uh, she's got eye-catching shots herself. I like that. And the support then that you can pass on to your girlfriend, girlfriend, <laughs> mate, girlfriend. 
what would you say is the, the attributes that Karis has got, what she can carry into the pro game herself? Do you know what? Everyone speaks about her power um, and, yeah, for, for her weight category as well. She does hit very hard, but I know um, her boxing ability is just as good. Um, she got, she have got fast stance, she's got fast feet, good head movement. Like she said, she's been working on hand defences, slipping shots and stuff like that. And um, I'm sure you'll see that on, on Saturday night. Uh, for me, I'll just say, like, I've been there, done that now, so just go out and enjoy it. I think that's the biggest thing. After round one, you kind of, like, settle down, but... Yeah, just just enjoy it. Obviously, no head guards and, and little gloves. Um, but for me, obviously being in there and experiencing that, it just makes you kind of put your hands up a little bit more anyway. So if she haven't got them up, I'll be shouting at her anyway. But um, nah, I'm 100% confident that she'll she'll be shining on Saturday. I like that. And one thing that you have touched on there is the fact that you're actually in a relationship with each other as well. How does that work with the boxing? Because obviously you've been in Sheffield for however long. And then, how does that work? How do you make it work? Because sometimes, you know, when people work with each other, they can grow apart, get on each other's nerves, get under each other's feet. How does it work, Karis? It's special. Like, we've literally, we've been together touching three years now and we've literally spent pretty much every single day together. There's obviously the odd weekend here and there where we've not been together, but she pushes me on in training and I push her on. It's like having a home comfort everywhere you go. And I know I keep saying this on the interviews, but it's special and if i'm struggling on a on a training session or just one day i just can't be bothered to get up and train she gets out of bed so i'm like right i gotta get out of bed and she just pushes me on no. <laughs> no we will not have any arguments on the weekends but through the week um but nah like like harris said yeah like like an home comfort and it's just great obviously to have each other by the side because obviously boxing's a lonely sport and i so it is special at times and obviously I'm glad that we're obviously boxing quite close together because then obviously we can have a bit of downtime after this and maybe go away on all day for a week, chill out and, and you know, just enjoy a bit of downside, downtime and obviously, I, I don't know, go out and have some good food and, and stuff like that because I suppose being together as well, we obviously understand one another so when you've had an odd week in camp, all we want to do is kind of chill out on the weekend and we both get that, whereas previous we've been in different relationships and it, and it is odd. So yeah, it just works and yeah, we just bounce off one another. That is nice to hear and it's rare as well, but it is actually nice to hear. So why did, what made you choose a um, boxer out of obviously, because I saw you, you know, out there with Matchroom, obviously, you know, when you came out, when you'd finished your tour of duty for one, for a better word, with GB. What made you say, all right then, I'm going to choose boxer. What was it? We, I will... I think I'm speaking on behalf of both of us, but like we just sat down and weighed the options up. And Sky's a massive, massive platform. Anand's got Sky. Do you know what I mean she can tune in and watch it? The Zone. Not everybody knows how to use an app, so for me it was just like for the audience and like Ben Shalom, um, I believe, is interested in women boxing just as much as it is for male boxing. Like you've got hopefully the headline of Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall, Tasha Jones and Hannah Rankin, like they're cracking fights. And then it's good for us to see that happening because that's what we want to be doing in the future, headlining big shows. Yeah, 100%, like what Kyra said, obviously Sky, there's no bigger platform than that. Like even, I don't know, non-boxing fans, they've got the football on and then in the night they just switch over, the boxing's on. So yeah, I just think, and, and same with Ben really, I think obviously the last couple of shows as well, they've just, you know, since the, I think, what would we say, the Liam Williams and, and Eubank one, I just think they've just progressed since then and um, def definitely got better and better and uh, it's exciting and it? it's something new and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, for both of us uh, performing and I don't know, what does Adam Smith say, becoming superstars on Sky Sports? They're only a few months in as well and it's definitely getting better and better. You can see the progression as each show comes out. So imagine where they're going to be like a year or two down the line. I'm excited to see where it will go. And what I will say then on a closing note is both of you are in phenomenal shape. If you ever want to give up some of your fitness tips because those shoulders and arms are looking really well. <laughs> but what can we expect from you then Saturday night on your debut? A cool, calm, collected performance, disciplined, and hopefully her walking on some big eye catches, big backhand straight down the pipe, knocking her head back, hopefully. But I don't want to go in there rushing, so I'm going to go in there and try and stay cool, calm, collected, like I've just said. Find my rhythm, find my flow, and then hopefully you see what I've been working on in the gym, show on the, into the ring. Ladies, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you coming on the channel. I'll be there watching live and hopefully we can get some work in post-fight. So thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you very much.
Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.